Hi, Jim Hebel with Bedecker Plastics. In this technical talk, I'd like to review the compressive strength of a plastic material, including what it means and how it is tested. The compressive strength of a material is a measurement of how much stress a material can withstand when it has a load applied on it. Or in other words, when does a material deform when it is being squeezed under some amount of pressure? Compressive strength is an important physical property to understand when choosing the best material for almost any application. There are so many plastic components that will have a load on them, such as bearings, gears, wear pads, brackets, shivs, just to name a few. It's important to understand exactly how much load a plastic or composite can handle before it deforms or ultimately fails. The ASTM standard for this test is ASTM D695. And like the tensile strength and the flexural strength, the compressive test is conducted using a universal testing machine. The specimen tested can be either a block or a cylinder. Typically a test block measures half inch by half inch by one inch in height, or a cylinder will measure a half inch diameter by one inch in height. The specimen is placed between two compressive plates and the pressing load is applied at a uniform rate of speed. The typical standard test rate is 0 .050 inches per minute. Typically, the ASTM specification calls for a minimum of five test samples per test specimen to provide a nice average, which is then reported as the compressive strength on a material data sheet. As the test is conducted, a real-time dynamic graph is produced showing the stress applied versus the strain measured. This stress-strain curve shows the stress on the vertical axis versus the strain on the horizontal axis. The stress is measured in force per unit area or the force per cross-sectional area of the test block. The stress is measured in PSI or megapascals. The strain is the ratio of the extension to the original length of the sample and is expressed as a percentage. Simply put, it's how much the sample compresses under the load. A more ductile material may deform under the increasing compressive load and may or may not actually break. A stiff, brittle plastic may deform very little before finally cracking and breaking under the increasing load. All of these results are depicted graphically via the output of the universal testing machine. A materials data sheet will often report the compressive strength of a material at some given percentage of strain or crush. Some data sheets report the compressive strength at 1%, 5%, or even 10% deformation. This is the load required to squeeze the sample by this percent of its original size. On our Bedecker Plastic website, most of our material data sheets report the compressive strength value at 10% deformation. Other compressive strength values that can be taken from the stress-strain curve include the compressive yield point, which is the first point on the stress-strain graph at which an increase in strain occurs without an increase in stress. The crushing load, which is the maximum compressive force applied that produces a designated degree of failure. And also the ultimate compressive strength. This is the maximum stress required to break or fracture the test sample leading to ultimate failure. When designing plastic components, remember the reported compressive strength on the data sheet is a point where the material is most likely failing. A good practice is to design with a safety factor. A good rule of thumb is to divide the reported value by three or four to obtain a good safe working load capability for the polymer. Oftentimes, this safety factor will help take into account the potential for a plastic to creep under load and will help protect your design from premature failure. When reviewing a material's physical property data sheet, make certain to be aware which properties are important for your application. Understand exactly how the physical properties are defined so that you can properly analyze, understand, and compare those values. Please reach out or comment if you have any questions at all about compressive strength or any other plastic related properties, we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.